Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video. So in this video, we're going to show you how to get the Power Droplet. Now, this is an interesting uh, trinket, accessory, artifact, whatever you want to call it. And the fact that it does increase your basic attack with uh, unarmed weapons. So if you're just using your fist, it does increase your attack. But there's something special about it too that we're going to go into. Now, getting to this uh, location is a bit of a challenge. Uh, more so than it was for the Thor's Pendant. So you can see we're over here near this compost bin, near the battery, and right uh, south of the Java Matic here. We'll bring up the map and show you guys where we are. So my base is right over here near the uh, the stones in the upper yard. Where we're going to the Java Matic is up basically right next to the shed. Just to the right of the shed and just to the left of the compost bin here, northwest of the, uh, the tire. Now to get up here, you're going to have to come up here and make your way up onto this little electrical or uh, this power cord right here the surge protector or extension cord whatever you want to call it you're going to come up this cable right here run your way up here one of the key things that you'll need in this is to have a dandelion tuft now if you have a fluffy dandelion tuft even better but at least have a dandelion tuft now there's multiple ways to get to this but i'm going to show you the way that i found uh, the most the easiest basically you climb up this cable right here, all the way up to the top of the Java Matic. And you can see all these vines right here. And again, the the beginning of this, or the ending, ending area, the upper yard of this game, has a ton of parkour involved in it. It can be frustrating at times, especially if you don't know where to go or what branch to jump on, what leap to jump on, and stuff like that. We're going to show you right here. <clears throat> Our goal is to not get on top of the compost bin, although that is a possibility. The goal is just to get over to I spy. this branch right here. And we're going to go up on this way, and we're going to make our way across and then drop down. This is where the uh, dandelion tuft comes into play. Now, this jump right here is a little bit difficult. You can go through on this set of bricks right here, but it's a little bit more difficult because there's a small space where you have to kind of jump across and hope that you make it. If you don't, you're going to fall all the way down and have to start over. So hopefully we can do it in the first try. If not, then uh, we'll be doing that. We'll be starting over. So from this point of the cable, basically just kind of get a running start and have your dandelion tuft ready. We're going to jump to this leaf right here that you can see we're floating towards. And we're going to kind of jump right on the edge of it. And just kind of fall right on top of it. So step one done. So this leaf right here we can actually jump up onto, although it doesn't look like it. And this is where my complaint is, if you're going to have parkour in the game, then kind of like highlight the areas where you can jump and can't. So this is a pretty tricky jump here too. You just want to jump on the edge right here and then kind of jump straight up and then press forward. And then you'll be able to walk up on this leaf. And if you want to walk or jump onto this uh, branch right here, do that. Be careful with this leaf. If you run into it, it could knock you down. So I'm just going to duck under it here. And then we're going to jump across over here. And here we are. So this is the spot we want to get to. And from here, you can see I have a waypoint place right there. You can see we have to go all the way over to the uh, kind of to the right side of behind the compost bin. The power droplet's going to be in a little sack, uh, just like an item, just like the uh, the Thor's pendant. It's just going to be sitting here, laying here. So there's nothing else you need to do. Uh, you don't have to complete anything ahead of this. You don't need to unlock anything. You don't need to go collect anything to craft this. You're just going to go get it. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over here. And you can see right here. So. This is where we're going to drop down the first spot. And then we're going to make our way in here. And this is where it gets difficult because you can jump across here. But a lot of times it's a little bit more difficult than it shows. So basically you can see we're going right over there. And again, this is where it gets difficult. You have to kind of jump and then drop your fiber dandelion tuft right when you're jumping across. Typically, you can make it all the way across over here and take the compost bin and then jump across. But there are two green shield bugs up on top of the compost bin. They don't necessarily bother you too much when you're hanging on the edge over there, so you can do it. But uh, basically, either way works as long as you get over here. So now we're over here, and you can see I'm going to go in first person mode. You can see where we are. Let me take my shield and Maka Wheedle off. You can see it's right over there. So now all we have to do is walk forward. I'm going to go ahead and uh, recycle this so it doesn't accidentally knock me off. And go forward, and here we are, and this is our power droplet. I'm going to go ahead and nab that. Discovered power droplet. Let's take a look at it. 
Tap into a hidden power, unleashing unarmed fury on your foes, plus unarmed attack. So as we put that on, you'll see um, unarmed attack. Unarmed attack deal more damage. What it also does is unlock fury. Unarmed attacks can trigger additional attacks. These additional attacks benefit from all perks and status effects, including ones meant for other weapon types. So if we take that into account, let me go ahead and take off all my mutations here and kind of give you an idea of what it can do. So if I have, um, we have it equipped. So if I put Chopper on, the Fury is going to unlock the ability to stagger your enemies here because Chopper gives you a chance to stagger your enemies. If I have Smasher uh, equipped with the Power Droplet equipped, it's going to give me a chance to daze my enemies, slowing their attack speed. If I have Javelinier equipped, it's going to have a chance to lower enemy armor. If I have Assassin, it's going to have my weapon of choice, even though it's our fist, is going to have a choice uh, to cause enemies to bleed. Sharpshooter, you have a chance to pin uh, targets down. So it doesn't matter, like it says, with Fury, including ones meant for other weapon types. So you can, whatever mutations you have on, can give you the ability to use those mutations with just your fists. Obviously, you're going to want to use this with uh, Little Fist and uh, probably Truffle Tussle as well, just to get the uh, Exploding Fungus attack. But same thing, any mutation that gives you a another ability will be unlocked, has a chance to be unlocked using the power droplet with Fury. And you can see this has no durability, so this is an invincible trinket, similar to Thor's Pendant and Sarah's Charm. So it's a super useful um, item, especially considering now that we know with DPS damage, unarmed attacks don't have a certain weapon damage. So no enemy is uh, resistant to it, no enemy is weak to it, and it's one of the DPS, DPS types that can actually do a lot of damage. You can use this against the Broodmother, the Assistant Manager. Um, well, you probably have those done before you get up here, but for other boss fights like the Mantis and stuff, you can go ahead and try an unarmed build, which we're going to get back into doing some of our class builds. But this is a super useful item just because of the fact that it allows you to use these mutations that are typically for other weapons, but actually use your fist to unlock those uh, those abilities. So there you go. That's how you get the power droplet, and that's what it can do for you. Go ahead and grab it, test it out. Again, it's kind of difficult to get to. It may take you a few tries. The biggest thing I can say is if you do make a jump, go ahead and save. That way, if you fall down, you can go ahead and uh, just reload that save right there from that point so it's not causing you too much frustration like it did for me just to get up here. So that's all we got for this video, guys. Uh, appreciate you watching. We'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Later. Hey, thanks again for watching, everybody. If you like that video, go ahead and check out one of these videos right here. Thanks. Bye.